Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about how Hedera could be at the centre of cross-border payments to Brazil. So on the 6th of May, the cross-border payment provider in Banksa announced that they are due to set up a cross-border payment infrastructure to the Brazilian market. And as part of this development, Banksa will take on the benefits surrounding the USDC stablecoin, which is actively and openly available on Hedera. So as part of this development, Banksa will again partner with Hedera in improving cross-border payments to areas around the world, most notably to Brazil and to the broader Latin American region. And this development sees Banksa setting up cross-border payment and remittance corridors from nations including Turkey, the UK and the US to nations including Brazil and to the broader Latin American region. So not only will Banksa improve cross-border payments to Brazil, but Banksa will also take part in improving in-house local payment methodology which occurs within the wider Brazilian marketplace. So Banksa will actively use the local payment infrastructure within Brazil, which is known as PIX within Brazil, which was set up by the Brazilian Central Bank. So developments surrounding improvements in cross-border payments and in-house payments within Brazil and the wider Latin American region has seen Banksa's global partner network accessing millions more individuals and customers. So Banksa's involvement in cross-border payments and payments within the wider Brazilian marketplace has seen the organisation take on the benefits surrounding Hedera's network, where Banksa's payment infrastructure is actively built on top of the Hedera network, where Banksa will use Hedera to act as a local on-off ramp for payments around the world. So Hedera is one of few DLT offerings that provide the USDC stablecoin. So Banksa will take advantage of the USDC stablecoin, which is openly available on Hedera, and this is coupled with the high degrees of scalability, cost effectiveness and high finality rates surrounding Hedera. Where activities surrounding cross-border payments through the active usage of Hedera by the likes of Banksa will mean that thousands of transactions can be actively enabled through the active usage of Hedera, either through the usage of HBAR or the USDC stablecoin. So with this development seeing Banksa having accessibility to millions of customers around the world, most notably within Latin America, this could be quite beneficial and bullish for the overarching Hedera network, as Banksa will directly use Hedera's network and the USDC stablecoin to execute transactions more seamlessly and rapidly and at stable rates and this will see the active validation of transactions on Hedera being a lot more sizable and these transactions will be openly validated and executed through the usage of HBAR so this will lead to sizable increases in the demand for HBAR and as a result the price of HBAR will increase as time progresses and the utility surrounding banks' cross-border payment infrastructure and local payment methodology increases over time. So this development could also be quite beneficial for Hedera for the long term as remittances have been growing on an annual basis within Brazil and the wider Latin American region where in 2019 over 3.21 billion dollars worth of funds passed into Brazil in the form of remittances and this is coupled with the wider Latin American region gaining remittances in value amounting to 82 billion dollars. So again the sizable amounts of funds that could potentially pass through Hedera, even if Hedera takes up a small chunk of this marketplace, could be quite significant for the overarching Hedera network and for the likes of Banksa, and even for individuals based in Brazil, as the usage of Hedera will improve the efficiency surrounding payments within the wider Brazilian marketplace. So Hedera's involvement in cross-border payments to Brazil and Latin America is coupled with Hedera's involvement in cross-border payments to other regions of the world, most notably to South Africa and South Korea, where in a joint collaboration between Shinhan Bank and Standard Bank, these banks have openly used Hedera to improve cross-border payments to South Africa and South Korea, where again these banks have openly minted tokens to represent the local currencies of South Korea and South Africa, and these actions will be actively validated through the open usage of the Hedera network. And similar to how Hedera is openly used in Brazil, these actions will be actively executed and enabled through the active usage of HBAR. So Hedera's involvement in cross-border payments and remittances adds to a growing list of use cases Hedera is openly involved in and indicates why Hedera is the most widely utilised enterprise-grade DLT on the marketplace. So with more financial bodies openly turning to Hedera, this could be quite beneficial and exciting for HBAR token holders and for the overarching Hedera network for years to come. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Are you bullish on banks are using Hedera? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.